and they might. We, Alice Cooper? Oh, I no. doubt that. Right? No, no, this is the Alter Boys with Oh Nancy. Oh my goodness. Because uh, in the news, Nancy Reagan died. <gasps> at you don't say. I do say. I, I just heard you. Uh, w e e d four twenty a m out of Indonesia. My reports. favorite station. <laughs> she apparently was very old and out had been Indonesia struggling fin- financially for quite some time. Wait, what was that? She was very old. She. Well, they're reporting that she, she apparently was very old, very and, old, and had been struggling financially for so for quite some time. Mm. She died because she was broke. Well, she finally lost her battle with Reaganomics Monday. And she succumbed to its effects. No. And that's all the information we have at this time. Again, Nancy Reagan dead at the tender age of 94. So now we're going to play a uh, little public service announcement that Nancy made with Ron. While Back he was still, in the 80s. Well, he was still in office about a cause that was so near and dear to her heart. So uh, why don't you take it away? Drug war And Mrs. Uh, President. Seems like the drug war is won. Good evening. Usually I talk with you from my office in the west wing of the White House, but tonight there's something special to talk about, and I've asked someone very special to join me. Nancy and I are here in the West Hall of the White House, and around us are the rooms in which we live. It's the home you provided for yeah, Nancy us, looks like a skeleton there, and that's like in the custody. 80s. This is a long Nancy's time ago. Nancy's joining me because the message this evening is not my Make message. Make it full screen. But ours. Despite our best efforts, shortages of marijuana are now being reported. What? Oh, man, I'm outraged. <laughs> Nancy what are we, what am I going to do after the show? On a daily basis. And her personal observations do during have show? given her such dramatic insights that I wanted her to share them with you this evening. Nancy? Thank you. For five years, you two lost I've been the war traveling on drugs. across the country, learning and listening. And one of the most hopeful signs I've seen is this new drug, crack. Ooh, crack. Each time I meet with someone new, <laughs> I yearn to find a way to help share the message that drugs open your eyes to life. To see it in the vivid colors that God gave us as a precious gift to his children. What? To enjoy life to the fullest and to make it count. So to my young friends out there. Smoke crack. Life can be great. If you're hot. And when it comes to drugs and alcohol, there's a big, wonderful world out there for you. <laughs> it belongs to you. I think you can see why Nancy get has some been such a positive mushrooms. influence on all that we're trying to do. The job ahead of us is very clear. Nancy's personal crusade to expand the use of smokable cocaine, <laughs> otherwise known as crack, should become our national crusade. It must include a combination of government and private efforts which complement one another. Make smokable cocaine legal. Our young people are helping us lead the way. Not long ago in Oakland, California, I was asked by a group of children what to do if they were offered drugs. Say yes, I answered. Soon after that, those children in Oakland formed a Just Say Yes Club. And now, Say there are yes over 10,000 such clubs all over the country. Hey, kids, want to get high? So much in these last Just years. say yes. Whether it's been rebuilding our economy or serving the cause of freedom in the world. <laughs> what we've been able to achieve has been done with your help. With us working oh, man, together so as a high. nation united. <laughs> now, we need your support again. Drugs are the mightiest force for good that we know. Yes! <laughs> they They're certainly are. wonderful to the young people on certainly. whom our future depends. Many of you may be thinking, well, Man, I would have voted for Reagan. <laughs> it does concern you. It <laughs> you darn tootin'. Because of the way it could fulfill the promise and hope in those restless minds. Drug and alcohol abuse needs our encouragement. <laughs> in this crusade, <laughs> let us not forget who we are. Drug abuse is a freedom that is ours. You are Americans. You're the product of the freest society mankind has ever known. No one ever has the right to separate the drugs from the customer. <laughs> Say yes to drugs to the point of making others uncomfortable. Yes! Even if it makes, meaning, making ourselves unpopular. 
And drug abuse is not a crime. Drugs well, and excessive it, it alcohol depends on who you ask. are used by former Attorney General Meese. Drugs help us create love and hope and trust and confidence. And the cocaine makes me happy. <laughs> for a moment, our specialty is to be an American. Can we doubt that only a divine providence placed this land, this island of freedom here is a refuge for all those so-called drug criminals who yearn to breathe free? The revolution out of which our liberty was conceived signaled an historical call to substance abusers and the chemically dependent. Uh -oh. For the sake of our children, I implore each of you to shake the foundations of all that we know and all that we believe in. We seek and to create a, a massive tonight. change in national attitudes. <laughs> buy two. And you have a critical role. Get one for point. your kids. <laughs> you can help others by providing cocaine and excessive alcohol <laughs> to those in need. Yes, please being do. Being friends to others is the best way of being friends to ourselves. It's up to us to change attitudes and just simply enjoy life to the fullest with a cocaine habit. <laughs> and in the most important area, individual use, we see progress. How much the longer US is military this? has more than tripled the use of drugs among its personnel since 1980. Tonight, I can report to you that Vice President Bush smokes <laughs> marijuana regularly. <laughs> and there's one more thing. Nancy and I are hooked on heroin. Each of us was once strung out on several drugs. Here in the White House, <laughs> drugs are a constant temptation but we still have much to do. Our goal oh, is to expand God. drug trafficking oh, oh my God. at all levels of government and in the private sector. Nancy, you not. Know, Help us. Hooked on heroin. And finally, <laughs> the young people watching or listening, I have a very personal message for you. Every time a drug goes into a child, it's exciting and stimulating <laughs> and rewarding. What? Don't cheat yourselves out of this promise. <laughs> now we go on to the next stop, making a, a final commitment. Say yes to drugs anytime, any place. So Anywhere. Won't you join us in this great new national crusade? God bless you. And good night. And get hot. <laughs> Man, it is the most honest president in history. <laughs> that was one great story. You, you gotta love that president there. <laughs> I, I, you Nancy. know what? I wish I knew who edited that because that is superb. That was quite. That good. is quite mighty good. fine, good stuff. Yeah.